what's up everybody how you doing it's your boy ragdoll um i know we finished the bug challenge a while ago i want to say like maybe two weeks ago but i decided that i also wanted to do the gym leader rematches and the elite four rematches with bug types only as well i figure you guys would love for me to be stressed out some more so that's what we're going to do um within you know from then up until now i've been working on a new bug team and this is what we got right here i leveled them up to be like between the gym leader and the elite four sort of kind of but this is what the team is looking like beethoven um we decided to keep beethoven around uh and this time I actually EV train my Pokemon too. Um, I bred them and all of that good stuff. Um, I bred them and these are the best moves that I could get without having to grind too long. So Beethoven still got the same moves as before because I just didn't know what else I wanted to do with it. We have Crackhead, the Yanmega, and this is a pretty standard competitive set right here um with a speed boost and this is going to be uh max speed max special attack evs you know your standard yeah mega we got dick pinch shout out to one of my favorite youtubers hayden if you uh seen his wi-fi battles his uh his pincer its name was dick pinch but of course i got different moves um i'm gonna try to get my hands on earthquake and take uh take away superpower but yeah, we got dick pinch um max speed max uh attack we have red ranger the scissor this is probably going to be one of my better pokemon right here and i'm trying to take advantage of the technician ability so scissor is already a powerhouse so i want to use agility and then just take advantage of a uh, technician instead of wing attack i might use um aerial ace but the spread on this one is kind of different so it's max attack and i have bulk and hp and speed um claudia the armaldo this is hp and attack i don't know what moves i want to put on this thing i truly don't so i'm going to just use these moves and hope for the best well i could probably teach it waterfall instead of uh aqua jet or well no aqua jet's here to stay i'll probably take away metal claw and um probably teach it rock slide or something and then we have walnut um i don't know if i want to keep gyro ball i think i want to use volt switch instead of gyro ball but walnuts moves speak for itself so like going back to that traumatizing battle with flint the first time that infernape he has it's um it's focus sash if i could use toxic spice and you know get those toxic spice on the field poison it all i can do is just you know hit it one time it'll die to, to the poison damage so yeah and then counter kind of speaks for itself too you take a hit deal double the damage and explosion is just if one of these gym leaders or elite four is stupid enough to let me live on one hp explode like that speaks for itself too and this thing spread is kind of different so it's max hp but i have defense investment and a smidget of attack investment just for explosion damage um that's the team it took me a while to get there. I tried to use some of my Pokemon home points for these uh, battle items. Um, I did have a little bit of help breeding these Pokemon, um, which is why you see like the Pokeras. You know that helps with EV training and whatnot. But this is the team that we're going to use for the rematches and. I hate to do it to Beethoven, but Sticky Web 
Sticky Web, Sticky Web, mother freaking Sticky Web is the name of the game. Probably the most important, you know, move of the team right here. And I need Sticky Web for uh, for Scizor, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, just giving you guys a team rundown. First gym, let's go ahead and get it. We're going to do them all in order, starting with Rourke. Like, hey, you actually came. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's go. All right, man. Let's see if I could beat this guy on my first try like I did last time. And, I mean, look at this. He leads off with the Tyranitar. You know what? What I should have did... I was so worried about looking up Cynthia's rematch team. I should have been looking at the gym leaders team. I mean, yeah, I'm going to just use Sticky Web. Because I just... I should have got put a, a Focus Sash on, on this thing. Yeah, yeah, that's no surprise there. Okay, Stone Edge. I mean, Dick Pinch would be perfect right here. I want to use Toxic Spikes. Stealth Rock. That's... That's really a good move. <laughs> Alright. Stealth Rock, Stone Edge. What else you got for me? Another Stone Edge. Okay. Jesus, was that a critical hit? Okay. What to say, man? Gosh. That did nothing. And I bet if I use Counter this time, I'm, uh, he misses the stone edge. What the fuck? Roar? Okay, I can live with that. I mean, charging up some Fury Cutter would be nice. Yeah. Okay, I'll speed, that's nice. on the stone edge yo yo he hit three stone edges all of them a full restore i can definitely live with that charging up that uh charging up that fury cutter nice i don't even think i needed that critical hit But it was nice to get, though. Really nice to have. I really can. This thing has ridiculous, and I do mean ridiculous, defense. I'm gonna keep going for that Fury Cutter, though. Yes! Oh, okay, that was a big crit. The power of friendship already prevailing, folks. That thing was about to use head smash. <laughs> and there back to now this is where we fire off the bullet punch. And that's awesome. That is so awesome. Hopefully I can kill it in one hit though. Look at Scizor. This is why I, I chose Scizor. Cause this thing's power is just ridiculous. Armando. I don't think I'll be able to kill this thing in one hit, but I know it'll do a lot of damage at least. Yeah, I could definitely live with that damage. Man, 
that citrus berry gave him a lot of HP. That's what I'm talking about. The power of friendship, folks. Say what you want about the power of friendship, but it's been good to me. It's been real good to me. Probably without it, I would not have been able to complete the initial run. <laughs> but let's go. Scizor, Scizor, oh shoot. Alright, now this, this is actually a problem. Well, no, no, I have a, I have a pincer with a uh, close combat. That should, the power of friendship. I love it. Alright, but this probably is going to be my last attack with Scizor. And then, um... So good job, buddy. Good job. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to take that stealth rock damage, but that's okay. Let's just fire off these close combat, and hopefully, you know, that'll be the end of this battle. Purple Bass looks so dumb. Then his ace, Rampardos. I would have thought he would have had like all of the fossil, the fossil mods, but hey, it's okay. This, this might be really bad. Man. This guy didn't miss a stone edge, man. Just one. He only missed one stone edge. Okay, but he goes down. He's going to go down a life orb and uh, life orb. I didn't even know he held a life orb, but that's good to know. The first gym. All good. All square. I thought he would have gave me the Stone Edge TM. That would have been nice. But hey, it's all good. I can't believe he only missed one Stone Edge though. But I'm not going to complain. We got the badge. Or the rematch. And it was... Scizor put in that good work. Alright. Now, off to Eterna. With the same strategy as before. Setting up that sticky web. And then we're going to let Scizor just rip her up. Hard. Scizor might be one of the best Pokemon on my team. I know uh, during the challenge, it was probably Heracross. Heracross and Cricketune, Beethoven, they went hand in hand. Let's go. Let's go. jump bluff oh my goodness if you play competitive pokemon a jump bluff is the last thing you want to see these things are annoying okay let's see okay i fear in acrobatics Or a sleep powder or something like that. But alright, let me just use X Scissor and see how much damage I can do. And it's core fill boosted. I mean, 
at this point, I'm just, I'm just gonna hope for, like, she doesn't have, like, weather ball or something. Okay, I can live with Giga Drain. All right, Cricket Tune, Beethoven. Let's go. I, ho I hope it knocks it out, though. Of course you knock it out. You freaking Beethoven. Let's go. Okay. What else you got for me, Gardenia? What else you got? Torterra. Torterra looks like it's gonna fire off a uh, fire off a rock attack. You know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch into Walnut because I don't want to take too much leaf seed damage. And if he fires off a, a rock slide, a stone edge, or earthquake, Walnut could take it. Stone edge, okay. And Walnut, I, I see it now. I see it now. Walnut is going to be that Pokemon that just takes all the critical hits. And that's going to be so unfair. But I am going to use counter. Okay, great. I mean, that did a lot of damage. I'm not going to complain. She's definitely about to pop the full restore. So, I'm going to use Toxic Spikes. I know she has a Roserade, but if she sends the Roserade out later, that'll be really beneficial. And uh, I can get these, uh, her other Pokemon, you know, with poison damage. I'm gonna use Counter again. Cause I'm pretty sure I could take one more Earthquake. Yeah, nice. Now I'm gonna just explode. Now I, I, I moved last that time. I wonder what what she was planning on doing. All right, but there we go. Explosion worked on the Torterra. I am about to send Cricket to him back out because that uh, it's X Scissor is just gonna be super strong for me. South floor. And it's chlorophyll boosted, so this thing's speed is just gonna be ridiculous. Even with the speed drop, it's not gonna mean much. Alright, um. I mean. Let me just see what she's gonna do. Uh, oh, I'll, I, I'll spare it. I know Sunflora has the chlorophyll ability. Chlorophyll boosted speed in the sun. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Just don't send out the Roserade yet. Break room. I mean, I see where I might be afraid of Break room. I think this is where I let Beethoven go down. If it goes down. Focus punch. Damn, I'm glad I didn't switch. Poison Hill. I knew it. I really want to use Fell Stinger so I can boost my attack. Fell Stinger won't kill, but X is a will. Damn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a double Fell Stinger. Okay, so she's she's dead set on using Focus Punch, and that's fine. That's fine. I 
I hope she doesn't use a full restore. Dang it! I wanted that so bad. I wanted that so bad. But I mean, she's not getting poison heal damage anymore, so... Okay, she's holding a fucking toxic orb. Alright, so I'm just gonna X scissor and then uh Bell Stinger. Damn it! Oh man, I didn't want that. I really wanted that attack boost. Cause that Rose Raid is scary. Okay. Maybe I can get my Fell Stinker boost on this guy. Wow. What really? A focus sash. Damn. That's the last thing I wanted to see. That really is the last thing I wanted to see. But it's okay, this thing is about to go down to uh, poison damage. Man, it, it's so happy. It's so happy, it's dead. Get out of here, scram. All right. Notorious Roserade. Well, I'm not I'm not super afraid of this thing. It's called in the Sticky Web, and I have a Scizor. And a Yam Mega. So, I mean, I have nothing to be worried about. And that did a lot of damage. Alright. I need to quit underestimating the power of Beethoven. I mean, even though it went down, I mean, that X Scissor did a lot. I'm going to send out Dick Pinch. Giving Dick Pinch some love. I need to uh, I need to get some more uh, transfer my Pokemon home points and get some uh, some battle points for Earthquake TM so I could take off that superpower. Cause Stone Edge, Stone Edge is really good, but boy, with my luck, I'll I'll miss all of them. Okay, but that's Gardenia knocking her out. So that's two rematches done. So far, they they were kind of easy. We could chalk it up to you know me being slightly uh, over leveled. I know most of her uh, most of her team were in the 60s, and I know all of mine are in the 70s. And I also had the the type advantage on her. We're gonna heal up, and then I'm gonna end this video right here. Um. So now this is what, this is the plan. We're just gonna knock out all the gym leader rematches. And then after the gym leader rematches, we're gonna go back to the elite four. And we're gonna stress ourselves out even more against Flint and Cynthia the second time around. But this video, we knocked out Rourke, we knocked out Gardenia. So the next video, we're gonna be tackling Maitlene. So thanks if you, you know, stuck around for the whole playthrough. And I'll really appreciate if you guys stick around for the rematches. Until next time, you guys, be safe, be careful, tell someone you love them. Peace out until next time.